Hello everyone. Today we speak with Laurel Inga Daru of Point Michelle, who is a fully recovered COVID patient. Stay tuned as we speak with her today. Tell us about Laurel. Um, Laurel. <laughs> I'm not going to say my age, but I've been there for quite a while. I have participated in many different competitions like beauty pageants in Dominica. Um, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a public officer. Laurel, you were diagnosed with COVID-19. Tell us about that experience. Um, in August, about the 10th, about the 11th, I um, started getting like flu-like symptoms. But the first one I noticed was toughiness. And um, because, well, the ignorance in me, I would say, I tested positive, I'm negative, sorry, the Sunday before. So when I started feeling sick, I was like, mm -mm, no, because I cannot recall being anywhere that I could have gotten contaminated. So I, what I did, I, I isolated home from my family because I said, if it's a flu, better. If it's COVID, then I want to protect them. But then by the Friday, I wasn't feeling that bad, but I still wasn't feeling like myself. So I said, you know what, let's go test family. And that was when I got the that I was positive. Thankfully, they were negative. When you got that news, tell us how you felt. Oh my goodness. Because I've been so careful, my friends will tell you that I was one of those that was very, very, very mindful of me. I wore my mask, I used my hand sanitizer as much as I could. So when the doctor told me that I was positive, he noticed that I was taken aback. He said, sit down, sit down, sit down. I felt my legs so weak, you know. Then I said, if that is, that is. And then my next question to him, what about my family? And he said, your family is negative, but you're the only one who said it's good. And uh, were you transported to Portsmouth or you stayed home? Well, thankfully, thankfully that Friday was the uh, Friday they took the decision not to transport persons to Portsmouth that are asymptomatic because at the time I went to test I was not feeling that sick you understand? I had no apparent um, symptoms so I went home that, and then the Saturday um, someone called to ask me how I was and every other thing and, I, and that Saturday too I was not feeling anything per se so I was told to isolate home and that I could do very well because I have a, a spare room with a toilet, bathroom and everything in there. So I did my isolation at home for 10 days. Are you vaccinated? Definitely. Yes, I am. So tell us about home quarantine with COVID and your family is also at home. Tell us how you dealt with that. Okay, so I started isolation at home and then um, I had to um, do everything that I was told to do. Home isolation is very hard in terms of for the patient and for the family members. You have to be so cautious. They have to be so cautious. They themselves. So it was not like Oh, I home and doing what I want. No, you have to take all the necessary precautions to protect them and, you know, to, because you don't want your family members to get sick as you. Tell us about medication. What did you take at home? Okay, I took, as I told you, I am very abreast when it comes to COVID. So I knew what were the stuff that I had to take, like your vitamin C, your calcium, your zinc, your folic acid, your magnesium, multivitamins. These are what I took. And I took a lot of local bush, my ginger, my turmeric, my thyme, my clove. My husband made a lot of concussions for me. So that is what I took. 
um, during the time I was home, I will admit, off and on, I got a slight fever, but nothing really that I was, you know, um, I must admit to that before I got tested, it was rough. <laughs> COVID is no joke. Tell us about the management of COVID. I know you were home. Were you in contact with the health officials? Were they coming and test you? Um, unfortunately, they called me once. Um, no, I understood that um, later down that there is a saying that you are supposed to call your district team and whatever, but I had no contact number for them. So I just did my own thing at home. I would record my temperature at home, do what I have to do for myself at home. So from the time you got con contracted with um, COVID-19, how long you stayed home for and how long after you got tested? Okay, um, I stayed home for 10 days. On my 10th day, I called the hotline to ask what's going on and I was advised to go to the health commissioner center to cut off the band because I had on this band. The type of person that I am, I did not find that that was enough to satisfy myself. So I asked them if I could go to the stadium to cut it off. And I was advised yes. And I went and I got retested to make sure that I can, you know, talk to my family and be my family. Although I went to get tested and I was negative, I still stayed an extra five days in isolation. At any one point you felt that you were die no no my symptoms as i said were not severe they were mild and then i am vaccinated so i guess that helped me to some extent but were you scared i was very scared the first night because of every other thing that you have been hearing because that then I have to build myself because with everything if you're worried and stressed then your immune system cannot fight at the way it's supposed to fight so I had to pick up myself and you know I thought of my family but I was say the isolation period of four of um, during the 10 days it can be it can put a number on your mental because you're just there in a room we are social animals we need to speak we need to interact and you're just there in a room you cannot even really go outside although I could access outside for my bathroom because that's the only thing that's there so I could take some sunshine but it can have a great impact on your mental and the mental part of, of, of person. What advice would you have to give to the public with COVID? COVID, fortunately in Dominica we are not experiencing the worst of COVID in terms of death and severe um, sickness because of COVID. However, when I tested negative that Monday after the 10 days, I thought it was over. It is not over. I felt good the week and then the following week. I not good, but you know, like you, you know you were sick and then you feel your body not 100 but you expect to get better and better. but there is this thing called long covid and it affected me it is still affecting me i feel very fatigued there are bouts of fatigue you will feel good one time and then you just feel so weak and tired another time covid is not something for us to care about who wants to get vaccinated get vaccinated because i can attest lord jesus if i was not vaccinated I would have had it severely. I, I, I don't know. I am very happy I was vaccinated. So persons must be aware that there is after effects even after you test negative. And it can be very frustrating because you know that you are not positive, you are negative, and you just don't have the energy every day to do your normal stuff. It can be very frustrating. COVID can affect somebody mentally, physically and emotionally. I can tell a person 
because for me i am feeling worse now than when i was positive so let us go over some of the medications you took some of the booze so maybe it can help out some people out there i took ginger turmeric clove thyme um orange peel i did all of that together sometimes i would do just the orange peel and the ginger and most importantly steaming steaming helps a lot especially if you're stuffy the steaming gives you a good relief i also had the cough so i took robertson for cough it helped me a lot so these are the things i really took during the time i was under the weather i know you're a bubbly person you always go out and you know you like to go on the beach the mm. river you have you love to have a good time yes. and that must have affected you oh a bit. yes that's why i said mentally it can mess you up because as you said i'm usually out and i don't have the energy right now to do what i love to do so it kind of and i'm a social person so i really don't have it in me i just want to be normal again lord jesus <laughs> i just want to be normal and you know what is surprising to me? I cannot say where I contracted COVID. With all my precautions, it still came knocking. So we have to be extra, extra careful. And it has left a paranoia in my head right now. Because for me, human beings are my enemy. I, I try to stay away from people. But how much, how, how long can you do that for? You understand? So that's why I said, COVID doesn't only affect your physical, it, it also affects your emotional and your mental state. Well, I want to wish you all the best. I'm happy that you recovered Aww. and you continue to keep safe. Yes. Do you have any I final can. comment? My final comment, Dominicans, don't procrastinate, get back. If you don't want to, then boost your immune system. Most importantly, boost your immune system. The emergency is very good at jolly it has electrolytes in there to give you that boost and the un antioxidants to give you that boost keep safe protect your family let's pray without god nothing is possible thank you very much laurel inga daru have yourself thank a wonderful you. day all right